let's talk about running with it when you were growing up around here. Was there a part of you that sensed that this would be a place to come home to, but this would not be your life? Definitely. I first grew up here mm -hmm. and had all those feelings about the water and the smell. I went out in a canoe before and I was paddling in by myself and the smell off the lake. And this is the true Stephen. Mm -hmm. it, that is it. Uh, looking for a little beach here and I, that's why I bought this property. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, 15 feet of beach and the feeling in the woods. And so then I left at 18, 19 to, to rock and roll out. Mm -hmm. I wound up taking so many drugs that alter your stuff that, you know, I thought I was taking this with me. Because mm -hmm. every time I smoked to joint, I felt like I was up on the chairlift at Mount Sunapee. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Every time I would do whatever other drug, I felt like I was underwater here, uh, you know, looking you know, at the fish and all that. So I was trying to re recreate it. So when I come back here, I felt it again. And it was such a pull because by then I had been addicted to the dark side or the the light side. May I say, I am surprised you're still alive. Mm -hmm. I am just, you know, mm -hmm. when I read your book, I, 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 I don't know of another per who has taken more drugs, has mm -hmm. done more stuff, mm -hmm. has lived outside of yourself more than you. You know, it used to be cool to hear that. Now it kind of hurts. It does? A little bit. I mean, I have a little shame about, you know, not being as wide-eyed open like this while that was going on, mm -hmm. like during the 70s. And by the time the 80s hit, I was just full-blown doing stuff that... Are you surprised you're alive? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I used to hate people that said, this last run, I was on a nighttime sleeping drug and, uh, and uh, drugs for my feet because of the operations I had because mm -hmm. I have to walk around and it hurts to walk. So I was on those drugs and, and uh, just, just that little bit, it makes you like this. Whereas you and I are peripheral visionaries. Mm -hmm. And damn it, what was I doing this for? Mm -hmm. Was it more comfortable? Heroin, you know, is like putting, it's like I've got a chinchilla, it's like putting a, co co a coat on, yeah. a cloak of fur. Heroin, you make you just feel so comfortable in a world of doing Madison Square Garden, coming off stage and getting pecked to death like chickens. It's a comfort to go sniff a little something and go somewhere. And so I just rode that, that beast, but this last run, when I was like falling asleep here in the pit, you know. Um, the pit being over the there. The pit being right there. Yeah. They would say, you know, you're gonna kill yourself. You know, you're gonna be dead tomorrow. And I thought, what? Just fell asleep is what I normally do. So it's an adventure. You know what, the drugs for me was falling down the rabbit hole. I know Alice. You know <laughs> Alice. Oh yeah, we had an affair for a long time.